Model Kendall Jenner has found herself involved in another controversy in regard to one of her projects. A photo shoot for the November issue of Vogue magazine. Many people on social media are in an uproar after seeing the photos where Kendall's hair appears to be styled like an afro. Critics say that the photos are an example of cultural appropriation and that if the job called for a model with an afro, why not hire an African-American woman who actually had an authentic one? <laughs> Others were quick to call out the negative connotations often associated with black people who have this hair as opposed to a white person being called fashionable when she wears it in that style. So ladies, good question. Would you say this is an afro or an afno? I'm offended that they're saying this is an afro. That's not an yeah. afro. <laughs> Let's start there. Yeah. You think that's an afro? That looked like uh, Tease Marie hair. Antoinette to me. And you're right oh, about like that. Oh, like a Gibson girl. Yeah, it like just the looks Gibson like Gibson hairstyle. Yeah. Back I, in the day. A, I look at it more as a teased bouffant. If yeah, you look at the style the, of her clothing, it looks more Victorian. It looks like the it's texture inspired. of the, the hair that. is not. Yes. But then the other picture, it kind of looks like she trying to go for an Afro style. Which the, one? The, that one. That, that one, looks a little bit more like an Afro. Yeah, like, like it's, okay. Yeah. So I think maybe that's what people were kind of. Does that look, image bother we, you, Lonnie? Uh, <laughs> what? Look, it's a difference between a simulation and appropriation. We done talked about this before. Okay. Black women, a lot of us have had to assimilate in order to get jobs. I know that because as an engineer, when I tried to come in there with some dreads, they would not hire me. Then I had to wear my hair straight and I got me a job. That's a big difference than when you appropriate. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people appropriate and they're taking someone else's culture. I'm just want, I just want everybody to you know, sure. understand to the define difference. It. And so some people are still sensitive about it. The thing is, is that for a lot of black women, you know, we feel like, like what we said, if you are looking for the Afro look, then hire an African-American or somebody that is actually has African culture. <laughs> and nothing's wrong with that, you know? Yeah. You know, there are white women who actually grow that kind of hair out of their head, sure. too, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm just putting that out. Okay, so... Yeah. Asian... I mean, I mean, I don't... No, don't, I'm just I mean, saying, I don't no, understand what the attitude is, but, I mean, the, the point is, is that there... The, we have, in this country, issues with people taking other people's culture and making money off of it. Sure. And that's really... And she has been known to do that. I think it's more... Not so much more about the Afro. I think it's more about her. A Kardashian you know, or Jenna? Yeah. yeah, Kendall, you know, has been known... Because she's been kind of tone deaf on some things. Let's not forget about the Pepsi commercial. Yeah, you know, that was and stuff terrible. like that. That was terrible. And then there's been some things with her fashion line. So I think it's more about her and not necessarily about... Yeah, tons of white models have done exactly, this before. Exactly. So I think it's more about her.